on this video, then like me, you probably struggle getting your sound right in your videos. You're probably thinking to yourself, yes, sound is something I need to invest in, but there's always been something else more important, like a new lens or a new camera or a new computer. So you end up just putting it off and putting it off and putting it off until finally you clicked on this video. You can spend all the money in the world on a decent microphone, but if you haven't got any way of monitoring what that audio sounds like and mixing it accurately, then what's the point? And I've given myself an incredibly difficult challenge of trying to review a set of headphones on a video where you're never gonna be able to hear just how good these are but I, I can tell you what I think about them. So without any further ado, these are the Grado SR80s. And you're probably thinking, yes, they're probably amazing, but they also probably cost a fortune. Spoiler alert, they don't. They're actually just under a hundred pounds. And Grado aren't paying me to make this video. They haven't sent me them for free. I bought them with my own money. And I bought a pair on eBay for 40 pounds plus postage and they're unbelievable. And I don't say that lightly. Over the past decade, I've spent thousands of pounds on speakers and headphones trying to find something that actually helps me. And these are the first ones that do. When I first put these on and started listening to a music track, I think the first one I listened to was Bohemian Rhapsody, which I've heard probably a thousand times in my life. There were things that stuck out in the track that I'd never heard before like ever. After Freddie Mercury says sending shivers down my spine, there's a little diddling and I'd never heard it before. And on these, it's as clear as day. I don't know how I ever missed it. And on the harmonies at the beginning, you can hear every single voice on the left and on the right. And in the past, it's just been all mushed into one. At the moment in the studio, I use a set of Focal Alpha 80s, which are not cheap speakers and they're generally used for music production. And I actually bought them off the same guy that recommended me these headphones. But when I've been working on my videos, everything sounds a bit muddy. I really struggle with getting the levels right between my voice and the background music or any sound effects that I'm adding in. And when I put these headphones on for the first time and started listening to one of my own videos, it was like I could hear for the first time, genuinely it was that much of a difference. I could hear every imperfection and I could EQ it out with accuracy for the first time ever for 40 quid. 40 quid, madness. The real beauty about these headphones is they're really flat. They're not overly bassy, they're not overly top endy, they're just accurate, which is ultimately what you need to be making videos. Grado are a Brooklyn-based headphone manufacturer. They were established in 1953, and they make all of these headphones by hand. And the SR80s, these ones, are the cheapest ones in the lineup, and you can spend thousands of pounds with them if you want to. But their philosophy when these came out were they wanted to pump all the money in the R&D into making these sound as good as possible. They didn't really care about what they looked like. And they don't look great. They feel really cheap, they look really cheap, but they sound incredible. These are not a one-stop shop for all of your headphone needs or monitoring needs. They're great for post-processing and really dialing in your EQ to make sure it sounds as good as it can. But when you're actually recording a video, they're open backed, which means some of the sound from what's playing on the inside is gonna spill out onto the outside. Really annoying if you're on the train and you want to listen to music or anything like that as well because everyone around you is going to be able to listen to Britney Spears with you. But for pure clarity, I'm never going to use anything else again. And don't be tempted, they make a wireless version, the GW100, and I bought them last year. Um, they broke about a week after I bought them and when I used them with Premiere Pro, it was just glitching and stuttering and I, they were just unusable with Premiere Pro, but these work brilliantly. Don't think about spending loads more money to get wireless ones, just get the wired ones. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've done these headphones justice. I know there's no comparison to actually being able to listen to them. And it is a bit ironic that I'm in a wood at the moment, but I'm gonna say if you wanna watch another one of my videos, why not try this one where I, got lost in a wood whilst filming a lens review. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again really soon. <laughs>